All right, so we're gonna go through a mobility flow. This is a fantastic warm up, whether you're going for a run, going to get a great lift on, or if you just wanna get up and move a little bit, this is one of our favorite mobility series. So we're gonna go through an intro series, do a little groiner, do a little push up action with overhead reach. We're gonna hit all three dimensions. We're gonna get all aspects of the body, okay? So here we go. We're gonna start with feet shoulder apart. Give me a great toe touch. Walk it out. Groiner. Groiner. Come down. Reach overhead, back up, inch from up. That's one rep. So we're gonna go through that one more time, okay? So the toe touch, walk it out, groiner. Be, hold to, be sure to hold each groiner stretch just for a split second. To get that really good stretch in the hips, coming down smooth, overhead reach, back up, okay? Coming down. Okay, and make sure as you come up, we come up in one solid plank, okay? If you do not have the strength to go up to a full push-up, here's say regression. So we're going down, do your inchworm, groiner, groiner, take it as low as you can go, bring the feet up, go from the knees, lock the arms, reset, come back up. Let's hit that one more time. Coming down, groiner. Groiner, down, overhead, back up, now. We're gonna keep going with the inchworm series, okay? But we're gonna take ourselves wide. Again, this is gonna require a little bit more strength from the push-ups. If it's not there, don't worry. Change it up however you need to, going from the knees or just cut the reps down, okay? So what we're gonna do, five and five. So we're gonna go shift, five, five, four, four, three, Three, two, two, one, one. You're gonna walk it out, okay? Keep hips tight, body tight, knock out five push-ups. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk it back in, down to four. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Now, again, the push-ups are a limitation. What you can do is lock the plank, do a straight arm reach, straight arm reach. So we're still working the shoulders a little bit. So we're out. This is the modification. Instead of a push-up, just work some good shoulder and hip stability here. Okay? Here's three and three. Four, four. Now, if flexibility permits, I want you to go ahead Start taking these range of motions deeper. So now we go into what's called a Cossack squat. We turn our foot here. I use my hands for support. Shift to the side. I'm still doing now three and three. So here we go. Two, two, three, three. If you do not have that flexibility, just stay with the normal shift side to side. Walk it back out. Three push ups. Three, two, one. Okay, now we're gonna go two and two and then one and one, but I'm gonna give you a side angle. What we're looking for on this shift, my torso stays up, my toes stay straight ahead. I'm moving side to side. Use your hands for help, okay? What you're trying to do is just groove and open the tissues in the hip sockets, okay? So we'll go back, we'll do a push up, two reps, one, two, walk it back. Let's go ahead and drop into that Cossack. One more time. Okay, last one. Boom. And back up. So right there, that's a great interim mobility flow. Like I said, working all three dimensions there. You're getting the hips moving, you're getting the legs moving, the arms, everything. The core is warmed up, core temperature is elevated. So great warm series. As you can tell, not out of breath. So if you do this right and do this nice and fluid, it's gonna be a great warm-up to add to your workouts. Thank you.